Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of a neat new quadcopter. This is the Hunkai, that's H-U-A-N-Q-I, HQ H899. If you look at the H899, you could probably surmise that yes, it is a clone of the SEMA X8 series. In, in particular, this is a clone, and uh, Hunkai's answer to the SEMA X8C, X8W, and X8G models, all in one. Uh, if you look at this, it includes a, actually this is a 720p camera, not a 1080p camera, but actually a 720p camera with a Wi-Fi transmitter on it. It actually records in 720p video. This is unusual in that this is the first Wi-Fi quadcopter that I've evaluated that actually records in 720p video. You know, a lot of them, uh, advertise themselves as two megapixel but they can't record in uh, HD this one does and how it does it, it includes an HD or an SD card in the camera that you can record um, other than that if you look at the quadcopter it is a very close copy of the uh, X8 series from SEMA it even uses the same battery as the SEMA batteries uh, this one in particular I'll give you the size on it it is a 88 3480 2000 milliamp hour 7.4 volts so very similar if not the same as the x8 in fact i put an x8 battery in this already it does fit and you can use it <laughs> so um with the ones with banana connectors looking at the transmitter transmitter is your standard size uh, left button here is for adjusting beginner intermediate expert the right buttons for flips um, these buttons for camera are inoperative. You have to activate the camera using the Wi-Fi app. You record with that. My dog's barking at a fellow on the other side of the field here. The auto return button is here and headless mode is here. And headless mode is there, I'm sorry. Headless mode and auto return. So that's it in effect. So let's go for a flight of the Hunkai H899 and hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, to start the quadcopter. I'm recording already. I started using the app. You bring the sticks down and out and it enters into an idle and then you increase the altitude now it doesn't have altitude control although it does have that idle but let's set it around and see how it performs and we're at beginner's rate it's supposed to have 200 meters range I don't know about that but we'll find out we'll go around the field to show what this camera can do. Looking in here in the FP, oh, it is a very good FPV signal. And bringing it back toward myself. The FPV signal goes in and out. It's not very good for FPV, but it, it's good for aiming the camera. I hope the camera's still recording. We'll go again to the other end of the field. And then turn it right about there. We are at least 100 meters out, so the range is true. Bringing it back toward me. Yep, you can use it for aiming the camera, but not for FPV. And it's, I'm looking in the screen here, it's kind of choppy. Comes in and out. But I guess that's the intent, is mainly for aiming the camera. Damn, it looks pretty though. On my phone, I'm looking in the, on the screen here. It's actually a very nice picture on my phone. Bring it back toward me again. And it's getting at least 100 meters. Okay, let's try the headless mode, or the one key return. There's the one key return, kind of working. Yeah, I guess it was pointed in the opposite direction of that, coming out of it. So if, if the thing's headless mode's that direction toward the golfer over there, we'll, We'll head a little bit that way and try the one key return one more time. I'm going to point it toward me though. 
One key return, and it's returning. How about the headless mode? Headless mode. <laughs> Pulling back, pushing to the right. Pushing out. Okay, headless mode seems to work. Let's bring it in close so you can see that. I'm giving a full yaw, and, I, and the camera's pointing upward. Hold on a second, folks. And I am going to point the camera downward. Coming out of idle. Must have been from that smack into the ground. And turning off the annoying headless mode. <laughs> Beep. I'm recycling the quadcopter to see if there's any more battery power, because I don't believe that's it. It's battery power. Turning off the transmitter, rebinding it. Well, I think that's it. Oh, no, wait. There we go. Yeah, we got more battery power. Let's set it back up again. I want to go to a higher rate. There's beginner and expert. Let's see how it flies. It is a good flyer, big flyer, big and heavy, like a truck. <laughs> Flies kind of like a truck. <laughs> Can it do flips? No power for flips, unfortunately. How about stability? Stable. Little trim. Somewhat stable. Okay. Again, this is their answer to the X8W. Seems to be a good answer. I'm moving away from my dog because she's making a lot of noise <laughs> barking at people today. And I want to see how much flight time we can get out of this. Can't believe no flips. Saying there's not enough power for flips. But again, nice and stable, like the X8. Well, uh, you know, each, or Home Quiet might have something here. If that camera comes out nice, they will. And it flies very well. I'm still seeing FPV signal on my screen. <laughs> You know, it's laggy, but again, it's good for pointing this quad cutter's camera. Let's try the camera again. Record. How about a picture of the, the town? Hey, this has good range for a Wi-Fi flyer. <laughs> Good range for a Wi-Fi flyer. Very good range. And bring it in close. And looking at the screen, I can see it. 
lights are blinking. And it's beeping. When it's beeping, I, I guess it gives you a warning. The receiver, you know, the lights are blinking and it gives you an audi audible signal on the receiver. Hear it? That the battery is low. That is cool. I like that. We're going to fly it though until it lands. But again, hear that? <laughs> that's the audible. I guess that's it. So that's cool. It gives you an audio. Oh, that, I can hear it on this too. Oh, it's still in idle. Turning it off. So my thoughts. Um, well, I want to see what the camera operates like, but I did like uh, that audio warning that you got low battery power. Uh, that's the first I've seen in a toy grade, I believe, that could do that. Uh, transmit an audio signal to this. Um, the camera, again, if it comes out, if it's nice video, this might be, just might be a buy, but we'll see. You know, we got to see what the uh, Jello situation is like. It's a good flyer. It flies very similar. It feels like the X8W. It flies like the X8W. Again, it is a clone of the X8W. So, here I am in the video there. Wait. Quadcopter 101, signing out.